today's video, we are going to be touring the Island Breeze. Now we've toured the Island Breeze before, but I've never seen the Island Breeze look like this. So I'm bringing it to you again. Get ready. It's another home tour. Okay, family, again, this is the Island Breeze. We've actually toured this home before, um, like I stated, but man, it's completely different. So I don't know if this is the 2023 version, the 2024 version or what, but we're gonna get into this tour because man, you've got to see the Island Breeze. They absolutely, they made it bigger and they made it better, okay? All right. All right, so this is what you see when you enter the home. You've got your living room area here, and you've got a kitchen and a dining room. And we'll get into all of that, you guys. This is your living room. Love the feature wall in here. Really lovely. Love the fact, love the, uh, the coziness of this home. Really nice. Really nice. So, again, this is the living room. Now this one doesn't have the finished drywall, but if you prefer the finished drywall or you have to have it, you can absolutely order that. It is an upgrade, um, but yeah, that's absolutely your choice. I love the rustic feel of this home. That's a built-in um, TV stand there. Love, love, love the lights on either side of this feature wall, really pretty. Really pretty again. This is a cozy space, but it would be per like for me and my husband, it would absolutely be perfect. Sometimes I feel like some of our rooms have too much space. So really lovely. So I like the fact that they put a sofa table here to create kind of an entry or space for keys and, you know, to sit things down and, and greet your guests. What have you? Shoes could go under that table or whatnot. Really lovely. So that's the living room. And then you have your dining room here. Wonderful. You've got a six. You could probably put eight at this table. It's a large table. So that gives you an idea of the space that you have in this dining room. Really lovely. Love it. Love it. Okay. Give you one more angle of the dining room here. Lovely. So when you're entertaining, you have three separate spaces in which people can kind of hang out, but everybody can interact with each other, right? So when you enter, you can see each area, the dining room area, you've got a large island in the kitchen and then the living room area. So perfect. This is a kitchen, another antique white, huge, huge um, island. Just imagine if you didn't have these kind of stools. If you just had the stools like we've seen in previous um, videos, you can put two here, two there, two on that side, two over there. Like, so much space. You could potentially seat two, four, six people because you only got space for one stool on either side. You've also got plugs over there. Love the butcher block look. Really lovely huge island. Love it. Lots of space in this kitchen. Built-in microwave. Beautiful. Now, the built-in microwave has got stainless steel, but the appliances in here are black, so that's something you want to think about, too. If you order this home, which way would you go? Right? Would you go stainless steel, or would you keep it black? I personally don't mind. The cabinet is not here. I personally don't mind the black, but it is, and I've heard the stainless steel is too. It's so hard to keep clean, y'all. Everything that touches it makes it look like it's filthy and it's really not. Maybe water, you're boiling rice and the water um, kind of ricochets and then it makes it look all milky and muddy looking. It's just always cleaning, but that's with the stainless steel as well. So that's something to think about. Lots of plugs in here. I'm noticing all the plugs in this space. 
Love the huge two-section industrial sink. And the fact that you have two large windows that open in here, love it, love it, love it, love it. So that is your kitchen, you guys. Love it. And then this is your pantry. It's kind of like a butler slash butler's pantry on one side or a drink station, which is what I would do with it. You've got your plug here for your coffee pot. You can even charge your phone while you're making coffee. And you've got shelving down here, which is really lovely. And then over here, you've got pantry space. Really nice. One, two, three, four shelves. And you've got that floor area. So lots of room for your pantry items. And so you can keep your barn door closed on that side and have your drink station looking kind of cute. And hey, if you don't drink coffee, whatever beverages you like, you know, you can set up in there. So really lovely. Again, that is the kitchen. And then the dining room. And living room. Perfect. So down this hall, you have your additional bedrooms. To the right, you have your back door and your laundry room. Wash and dry there. Deep freezer, desk, craft table, doggy stuff, whatever you want right there. Okay. This door actually closes, which is a plus. You've got your electrical box here, your AC unit there. Really nice. Love the fact that this closes for company if I'm washing clothes, but I would leave it open because the door is here and I want to hear if somebody's at that door if they're if I don't have company. So that's how I would do it. Now across from there, you've got like this opening, like this own area, right? So straight ahead from the kitchen, you've got your additional bedroom number one. Nice size room. Let's take a look at the closet. You have a standard closet. Really nice. Okay, that's additional bedroom number one. And then right next door, you have an identical bedroom, additional bedroom, Number two, they look identical, but if I have the uh, specs, of course they'll be on the screen, but they do look identical. Got another standard closet in there. Lovely, those are my, I got on work boots, y'all. We are in Franklinton, North Carolina for a road trip, a truck trip. So we brought a load here. Huge um, area here for sinks. You've got a, a makeup table in the middle and two large sinks. Everybody has their own mirror, which is always a plus. So if you've got, you know, multiple kids getting ready in the morning, this is absolutely the ideal space. You got a tub and shower behind the door and then your toilet space is here. Really lovely. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, this reminds me of a sink that they would put in the primary. I love the fact that they got it over here. Just imagine if you had two girls or three kids uh, that need to get ready in the morning. It doesn't matter if they're girls, but I say girls because you got a makeup area in the middle and two sinks, right? And normally, they're all trying to get ready at the same time. So, if, Or if you got boys and girls. You know, your sons could be brushing their teeth. Your daughter could be at the makeup station or whatever your kid setup is. Everybody has space. So really nice. Now outside the additional bathroom, you've got this hall closet. You've got space for your linens, extra comforters, extra towels, sheets, and stuff like that. Toilet paper and all of that good stuff. So 
This is the additional, these are the additional bedrooms. And then the master is directly across on the other side of the house. So we're gonna walk through to the primary. Love that it doesn't open directly into the living room. Got a beautiful bedroom here. Nice space in this room. Love it. Love the size of this bedroom. That headboard is super cute. And so are these nightstands. Really lovely. Really lovely. Aren't those nightstands cute? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. This is your primary closet. Again, my little light coming in handy. So this is the primary closet. Let's give you an idea of how much space you have. Really nice. And then over here, you got your primary bathroom. So you got your shower over here really nice and then across from the shower behind that wall you got your toilet area love it and then your bathroom opens up beautiful double sinks you could do makeup there if you chose you could towels and toiletries and lots of storage you also have this area over here for storage love it love it love it love it this is what my light setup looks like i'll turn it off so really nice love it love it love it love it all right so that my dears is the primary bathroom and bedroom. Now let's go take a look at the price again. We've seen this home, but if you go back and compare this video to the last Ultra Breeze, Island Breeze, the primary was on this side of the house and it did not look like that. So really nice. Island Breeze, three bedroom, two bath. It's 1,475 square feet. All in at 109844 with basic setup and delivery. Okay? All right. Hope you enjoyed this tour as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.